Hey folks, Dan here. I'm away and so I'm going to try to do a quick update here on Palantir and the way we're going to do this is I'm going to talk through some updates and then I'm going to go ahead and put the charts on my Instagram. I'm going to pin that comment below. So go to that link if you want to see the charts that I'm talking about in this video. So Palantir the last three days has started to put in a little bit of an uptrend on the daily chart. You'll see that originating right around that $15 level and right now it's starting to walk up there the last couple of days. So if that's able to hold, that could be really, really interesting. There's no discernible sort of downtrend that would help it build a wedge as far as I can tell at the moment at least, um, because it was a really steep sort of drop off and then stabilizing right around that 15 level and now starting to inch its way up. So click over to the chart, you'll sort of see what I'm talking about there. Um, but that's sort of the most critical components at the moment. Uh, the level I have below where it is, and right now it's power hour on August 15th, uh, 1546 is where it is, it's trying to hold that 1505 level. I have a pretty big gap from 1505 to 1603 on the chart. It is looking like it's putting in a level right around 1542 or so. So that could be the next sort of important level for it to to sort of uh, you know work its, work its way through, whether it's gonna reject off of it, whether it's gonna confirm it as support or whatever. Um, now on the thicker swim uh, chart, my setup there, it's it bounced off the bottom bound of the channel. Basically it came you know very, very close and now it's trying to build back toward the center range of that channel. So that's really good motion as far as I'm concerned, gives it some, some capabilities there. I would almost worry more if it hadn't reached the bottom bound of that channel, but got stuck sort of mid to bottom range kind of like in no man's land and then started to build back, I'd be a little bit more suspicious. So it feels like this might have an option uh, or an opportunity to sort of build and at least see what it does with that mid range. Now the mid range as it sits right now is 1667. That's going to change as the days pass through. Um, but that's basically where I see it. RSI is relatively low, sitting just under 42 at the moment. And that bearish momentum is picking up on, this, on the TTM squeeze, but um, it's going to take a few days of reverse trend for that momentum to die down because it's been a pretty uh, steep drop in the last several trading days. All right, folks, I hope that your week is off to a good start and I appreciate you watching and I will see you in the next video.